I just want it. I want everyone to know that this game, the stream has been live for 11 minutes and we have finally gotten the game working. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. This time for real. I am a bard. I can dance. I have an adventurer's cap. King Graham style. This is the jump button. This is the dance button. Apparently this is also the jump button. Yes. Okay. This is very important because I can crouch and dance. Oh, look at his cute little happy face. Oh, you can, you can dance while you're jumping. Also, there's like this, like, the sound there. And just like so wherever I am sounds like it's like oh okay so jump is on the bottom of the controller thingy because that's your feet because your feet jump and the top button is for dancing because your head is all of you and controls all of you and you dance with all of you I don't know what the other two buttons are so I've got like a whole bunch of jump buttons. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the these buttons up here also do jump and dance. Okay. Excellent. I am running through a dreamscape of a Hmm. Okay. This doesn't feel like, why, well, I'm a bard. Why do I need a sword? I don't need a sword, but I have one. Have. He looks so serious. Oh, look at him trying to dance. His sword is too heavy and he can't move his arms, but he's going to try his hardest to dance. Wait, hold up. This doesn't look good. I don't want to fight you. Eee. Uh, can I, can I dance at you? Can we dance? Oh, no. That didn't work so well. Oh, he looks so sad. How about this? Oh, look, his, his, his delight in his dance is not there anymore. Oh, it's changing colors. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I have to pick the right color based on its eye. Oh, it's a person. A rainbow person. Oh my god. Okay, that's the most adorable response ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay I really like the way this this person talks oh he's happy now he's like not a hero just a bard oh okay forever ago this is an interesting way of phrasing it to make everything fit hmm oh that doesn't sound good that means she's going to remake the universe, isn't it? Doesn't it? Ah, yeah. Oh no! He doesn't like that. To be fair, I wouldn't like that either if that was me. Oh. Okay, I, did, I had no idea what to expect from this game. Um, literally all I knew about it 
It's always fun to start off with Lauren's preconceptions of a game. I knew that it was supposed to be really cute, that it's not actually a single session game, which I would have expected. Um, and my friend John Robert is the singing voice of the bard. Um, so that'll be kind of funny having John Robert here singing with us. He has one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard in my life, though, so I have no objections to this, and neither should you. Um, so I, I'm kind of surprised by the, like, goofy modern dialogue, but it's cute. Oh, my bard is not happy with this. He's normally, I think, a very happy guy. Like, I guess he's, like, dancing and smiling in, like, the first part. I feel like that's his natural state of being. He doesn't seem to know what to do with himself when he's not happy. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Your planet is doomed. I guess we're going to have to stop that somehow. The haunting in Langtree. But I'm not a hero, I'm just a bard. Mm. Do I have a little curly hair? Oh my god. He like magically transforms into where he goes. Do you have like dropsy style? Hold up. Do I get to hug people and have drawings of them appear above my bed drawn with crayon? Is this a sequel to Dropsy? Except it's like Dropsy is like reincarnated as a happy bard instead of a slightly frightening clown. Oh, they, them. Oh, thank you, Blink Spat. That's adorable. Okay. Well, they are an incredibly cute, incredibly cute bard. Yeah, I'm sorry. I made a I made a gender assumption because I know the person who provides the bard's voice who who um, is uh, he him. So that's on me. Um, but I will make an adjustment. And, and if you catch me doing it wrong, feel free to be like, um, Lauren, they them. And I'll get it. That's cute. Can I open? I want to I want to I want to try on fashion. I have a wardrobe. And no fashion? Yeah, see, like, I feel like this is the natural state of the bard. Okay, well, I don't know if this is... <laughs> Look at how cool I am. Look at this. Look at how cool. Anyway, I believe that this is a dropsy reference and I am going to choose to believe that that's a dropsy reference unless someone tells me it's explicitly not. Oh, I like the like, the strings on the instrument are like all panned around you. A uh, subclass dancer? Oh, I can't go up that high. I need to bring my bed over here. This is like, oh my God, will you dance? No, squirrel, dance with me. I'm trying to dance at the squirrel. Come on, catch the spirit. Let's dance. Oh, you don't appear to have any arms, my friend. Oh, but you're smiling too. Oh, you do have arms. They're just underneath your, your poncho. That is a good question, friend. Oh, I have a voice. I talk. Okay. Everything's good. This person is very fashionable. I like their pants. Ghosts? <laughs> this doesn't feel like a very ghost game. It's all like paper cutouts. It's paper. Kind of spirits to cut town. <laughs> what the heck even is this? Oh, wait, the bird. Oh man, I made the bird happy. Look at how happy the bird is. Bird, can we dance? 
Oh my god, look at how happy the bird is. Oh my god. The bird is just like happy facing all over the place. Oh, the bird picked me up! Okay. Oh my gosh, bird. We're gonna go jump over the way that's not the way we're supposed to go. You know how it goes, bird. You know how it is. Whee! Thank you, bird! And this is where I'm supposed to go, but I feel like this isn't, and therefore I have to go there. <gasps> Hi, friend! <laughs> Ha 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 I found a secret. And it was a cat. Sophie! Hi, Soph! Soph, 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 Soph. Sophie is unimpressed. <laughs> Meowdy. What? Okay, going to the end of the universe is not a good idea. But okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. I was gonna say, I guess we're gonna only have, like, a whole step, like, regular scale, but apparently we can change that. So I was gonna sing along with the music, but I was like, I'm pretty sure there's too many notes. There we go. Oh man. So I cannot for the life of me life of me ever remember which direction things are. So oh my god, it's a grumpy friend. So expect me to, oh, I guess I, I don't actually have to have everything by ear because it shows me the colors in case I don't have the ear, but I do have the ear. Oh no. Sad person. Yeah, I live right down the road. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no. The bard is just like vacantly happy. Tree of slumber? Sleeping tree or tree where you sleep? Living tree village. <gasps> Folks, do you see? Anyway, I'm helping. Let's go visit a sleeping tree. Because I'm not going to go where I'm supposed to go. Oh, look at this. Wait, hold on. Mask friend. Are you snoozing? This Actually, this doesn't sound so good. <laughs> I didn't even mean to wake him up with it. Oh, yes, this is where you go to sleep. <laughs> no, okay. All right, that's not going to happen. Well, that's all right. We're back to happy music. A bird singing. 
How do I get there? Okay. There's a haunting. Others people don't seem very happy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this person's voice sounds exactly like I expected. Kali G. Oh dear, friend. I don't know. The bard is excited. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Sounds like things aren't so great for Clyde. Okay, so here we're not haunted. Here we're haunted. Ron and Ruby. <coughs> oh, maybe she's smooching the ghost. Oh, hello, you've got cute hair. Little bird, is that what you call me? Mayhaps. Oh, I get to choose. Look so proud. Oh my god. That's adorable. <laughs> All right, Marley. That's very nice of you, but. <laughs> oh no! Ah, I am not from around here, as it turns out, originally. We always weather the storm. Okay, so they have multiple things. Oh, they'll say multiple, multiple things. Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Um, oh man, this is too many options. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like Celeste in that as long as there's more to say. Folks, I didn't talk to Miriam the maximum number of times of talking. <laughs> Look at our scared little bard. Oh dear. What is an overseer song? This is a good question. to tell you. Oh. Oh my gosh. Will you dance with me? Guys, this is dangerous. I have learned that this game will reward me. I mean, I don't know if this is actually a reward for all I know, I'm gonna get a game over screen. But this game will reward me with additional content if I continue talking to everyone and making noise. It's a game after my own heart.
<laughs> I don't think you do, because you're not responding. Ugh. Well. <clears throat> Hi, Clyde. Clyde, chill. That doesn't seem to have solved that problem. All right. Here's another house. We're just gonna barge on into people's houses. Oh. Yes, the most important thing. Whee! Okay. Not a lot to see you do in that house, but I did jump. Oh, it's the mayor's house. Well, I jumped on her bed. Oh my goodness! Oh, you're haunted too. The bardling. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that axes are what I would use on a on a ghost. You know. Okay, Graham Cracker, I have to admit your name makes me think of King Graham. Also, I'm wearing an adventuring cap in this game, like King Graham from the King's Quest games, so. Oh no, little buddy. There we go. Okay, well that didn't work. I guess I should probably go into one of the haunted houses. Let's go not to the one that we were supposed to go into first. There's two beds to jump on. Oh, you're spooky! God, it's musical Simon says. <laughs> this is the best gameplay mechanic. Hello, I don't speak wingdings. I'm sorry. Even if they're nice rainbow wingdings. Okay, well. I'm gonna jump on the beds now. I feel like that's my reward for uh, exercising the ghost. I'm now going to exercise my legs. Ha <laughs> ha, ha, it's a pun. It's a joke, it's very funny. Oh man. <clears throat> Blues, I appreciate the, um, the uh, Cedric the Owl style dialogue. Haunted butter. I wouldn't want to have haunted butter. I don't think that would. I wouldn't it go rancid. Like, have you had rancid butter? It's pretty gross. I don't recommend it. Um, <clears throat> so this game is about I'm a bard, and I can dance, and I can jump, and I can sing, and that's really what we know. And I had a dream about. The emissary of the goddess who was like, hey, we're gonna remake your world. Oh, but you're so cute. I feel bad about it. And the bard was like, hold up. I'm not cool with this. I mean, presumably the bard is okay with, like, sparkly rainbow people thinking they're cute. But <clears throat> the whole, like, undoing and redoing the world, maybe not so good. 
I feel like you smile by default. Yes, you don't treat a ghost like a tree. You don't chop down a ghost. That's not how ghosts work. Okay. That's fair too. You do need your heart to live. I mean, yes. These two things are not mutually exclusive and one might say your heart is what pumps blood to your muscles. I have chocolate milk. Hi, Sophie. <gasps> Baby. Okay, she snoozums. Oh, there's been a number of people who've gone not who are not here anymore they've gone to the like great musical paper craft space in the sky i suppose oh who's gonna say words now it's me this is something that used to drive me crazy when i was younger because i was this like very like sweet positive like everything is going to be okay if we all just stick together we can make everything better and and if i believe the best out of people they will do the best and everyone really is genuinely good at heart kind of like a version of me but i'm tempered now <laughs> um no my heart does not pump chocolate milk <laughs> if your heart pumped chocolate milk instead of blood you might have problems um no, like, people would always say, like, oh, you're, like, you're like this because... Oh, wait, does, does the bard have fingerless gloves? I think the bard might have fingerless gloves. That makes you so cool. Cool people have fingerless gloves. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is people would always tell me that I was young and naive and the world was going to change me. And it was like they were, like, waiting to be proven right and for the world to break me, which is really crummy. And I've spoken to a number of other people who kind of have the same kind of, uh, like it's an innocence. And it, there's a specific way of having this innocence and like people are like, just like waiting for you to lose it. I don't know why I could try to extrapolate why. I've thought about it many times over the years. Um, but, like, the idea that, that tragedy will make you hard. It's not kindness. It's not that kindness is a childish thing. There's this, there's this... It's more about, like, expectations of the world and other people. And, like, some of it did, did come from, you know, having grown up with some privilege that I didn't have to worry about a lot of the things that tend to make people more cynical and hardened. But I also think it's possible to have tragedy befall you and have hard things happen and perhaps to be a tempered version of yourself, but not lose yourself entirely. Anyway, that's my thing for this little bard. Bard, even if tragedy befalls you, you don't have to lose yourself. The world will try to tell you. The world will try to tell you that you are going to become yeah well because people will be like the way that you see things is clearly childish and naive the way you think about things and your optimism and your trusting nature and your whatever like you know I'm saying all of these words, I'm not saying them in a really pretty way, but I hope that you're able to kind of like connect the dots around the things I'm trying to say and an idea will leave me and travel through the space time quantum computerness to you. Yeah, well, there's a reason why Pollyanna, the Earthbound song or the mother's song is one of my favorite songs in the entire world. And it's because no matter how incredibly cheesy the lyrics are, they're like mine. 
tougher than you. Oh. I appreciate that this dude is very loving of his son. That's very cute. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I have to go jump through the... Hold on. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, so if I just hit it a little bit. Oh, no. Well, I don't know. Let us go in. Oh, no, the mayor! Oh, the mayor's mad. The mayor. Ooh. No, I mean, it's like gotten bluish when I'm around the ghosts. Are you gonna rainbow wing things at us? Yes, you are. This one likes to go surfing under the sun with moons and stars. <laughs> Sorry, the sound actually sounded like, well, I'll be. Because there's just, there's just, there's a, one of the things that I find fascinating is that there are like pitches associated with certain phrases and words and so if you have just like sounds but no words but like it falls in a certain pattern of pitches you can kind of tell what is being said you know it's like if someone's like hello it's a specific pattern of notes you don't like have like Hello, you know, like that doesn't work. But hello, Th those those three notes together. I don't know. I don't know if there's. There, I'm sure there is. I'm, I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's people in like linguistics. If Sotaki were here, Sotaki could answer this because Sotaki does linguistics. But yeah, they're like ba 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 ba. That's well 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 well. <laughs> Well, I'll be is what prompted that. So if for, I guess if anyone viewing this isn't a native English speaker and therefore doesn't have these same, I don't have a word for it. Note based idioms or something. <laughs> it's like yeah I love how, like the bar doesn't have like just doesn't even register anyone else's negativity tonality is it tonality okay oh that's a cute expression I gotta jump on the bed no jump on the bed okay acceptable Whee! All right. Hello, friend. Clyde. Stupendous is such a good word. That's a good question. Maybe. Oh, Clyde is a doctor. I'm sorry, Clyde. What if we what if we dance? Can we dance? I feel like this dance and grin is intentionally referencing Aang. I don't know if that's true, though. Hello, Mayor. <laughs> that's pretty passive-aggressive, Mayor. Sure, it would be nice if someone who wasn't me took care of this. Oh no, you look scared and sad. Bardlet, bardling. Oh no. Haha. -ha. 
Everyone loves Ruby. No, Gundy, but I used to have a problem with people putting feet on beds, even if they're like socked feet or clean feet. So like, I hear you on that. I don't mind specifically with this bed in this apartment. And I think that's because this is the first time since I was a kid that I like have lived in a house with somebody else who I'm like not like in a relationship with because I just have a roommate. Um, so my room has become the entirety of my territory. I think it would probably be weirded out if my friends wanted to put their feet on my bed. But it just hasn't ever happened. Because I've been living in Toronto not enough months because the bulk, a significant chunk of my months here have been during this, the age of quarantine. And consequently, I haven't had people over and we don't usually come into my room, so they don't usually, yeah. Anyway, putting feet on beds. No. And yes, Angry Nerd Bird, finally I am, in fact, playing Wandersong. Yeah, well, so Chrono, it's only in the US, I think, where people typically keep shoes on in the house. Um, many, many, many other countries are like, what is wrong with you? Some of them take it to a, an extreme, extreme, like Japan's like entire, like the way a house is structured has like the like little, like you walk in and you're in like a lowered area, which, which is where shoes go. But then you like have to take your shoes off to and go up a step to like then be in the house. So it's very, it was very interesting to me. Um, but yeah, my mom will just wear shoes around her house and she has foot problems. So she has to wear special shoes. Um, Oh yeah, no, it, it, it makes sense to take your shoes off so that you don't track the city streets all through your nice home. Um, but it's also very common in the US to just wear your shoes around your entire house, including upstairs on the carpet. Not my favorite. Um, I, we generally like don't wear shoes around the house, but like sometimes if you're like grabbing something off of a hook, like farther from the door. Um, yeah, see, these are the important conversations we're having right here. It's like, like, yeah, show of hands. Does anyone here, like, like who here wears shoes, like, or grew up wearing shoes in the house versus have to take your shoes off? when you get inside. I'm curious. And like, if you're like from the US or not from the US, you don't have to tell me any more specifics than that. I'm just, I'm curious about our, our shared experience. Okay, not wearing shoes in vehicles can sometimes be necessary if you have, uh, especially if you're not driving, then it's not, not safe. And if you have like a really long road trip, you want to take your shoes off and sometimes like rub your feet through the socks to like make sure circulation is happening. This is interesting. Hey YouTube, you should also answer these questions in the comments if you want to. Oh man. So the problem I have with being barefoot is that the, the skin on my feet gets, I basically have, have hobbit feet but not the hairy part, the like thick sole part. Um, and show, so like my, my feet have problems. So I, I should be wearing socks all the time to kind of keep that from happening, but eh. <laughs> so interesting. Cause there are countries in which like you just don't wear, it's not just Japan, but the countries were just like, why would you do that? That's gross. I'm like, I don't know. It's just not a big deal. Um, yeah, I would, I would try to figure out what was the norm in a place that I went to, but I've, I've also had to tell friends when they come over to my place. Cause I don't like people wearing their shoes around my house. Um, now that I'm a grown up with my own rules. Um, that is a good point, Francine. I like the like. So a lot of them, the instruments that are used in the music for this game are like instruments that you would be playing around with a kid with. Like it's very 
childlike. Like, like little kid xylophones. When visiting someone, you're supposed to keep your shoes on? Oh no, this is a sad... I love this cranky old lady. She's just like, whatever. There's something really charming about old people who do not care. Okay, so this one is this one prioritizes mountains over surfing. But there's some rain in here too. Why are there ghosts here? I did. <laughs> yup. What? Oh. Yes, I do. <laughs> everyone, yeah, when when uh, when they're saying like everyone loves her, she's so kind. I'm like, oh, she's probably gonna be a cranky lady. She is, in fact, a cranky lady. I mean, I got kicked out. Hello, Mayor. I did. Hey, that's not very nice. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> it is incredible what a little bit. Uh, Oh, that's interesting, Candle. I haven't heard that before. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I've never encountered that. Like, basically, like, you know that sometimes when you go over to someone's house, they'll say, please take your shoes off. And then you have to take your shoes off. But I guess that is, I guess it can kind of feel like a sense of intimacy to be invited to take your shoes off in someone's house. I'll close my door. Huh? Made more coupons? Oh, is there like a national do not send me spam list up here? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's not relevant. That's super not relevant. Yes. No, it's totally fine. Also not very relevant to us. Okay. Yeah. We just have so many coupons for things we don't need. That, like, there's no metro. Mm, that is a good point. I, d I don't know if it also has a Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You sure? Okay. All right. <clears throat> no, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> 
Yes, well, you know, I said I was going to be playing this game for the past two years. How long have I been saying I was going to play Wander Song, guys? It's been a while. I can, I can, I can guarantee it's been a while, even if I don't know or remember exactly how long. Um... If you take your feet off, um, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what the etiquette on being a robot is. Um, at least a year, maybe so. So I love the, um, cause they could just have like one or two answers to this, but by having like six answers, five of which are like massive enthusiasm, that's characterization. I could just go with maybe if I wanted to, but let's be real. I love the thought of the bard singing everything. Ah, okay. Ah. Oh no, she doesn't want to. She's getting self-conscious. The camera's zooming in on her. Oh no. Picking random notes. <sighs> yes. Okay. Oh no. Ah. Oh. oh, good. Is it the one? Oh, did you hear that excited gasp? Oh no, Ruby doesn't like me. She really doesn't like me. Darn tootin'. Uh, somewhere. Nah, no regret. The bard doesn't feel regret. Does, is this the face? Look at this. Is this the face of someone who feels regret? I think not. <laughs> Sophie, you're a baby. Are you snoozing? <laughs> Too much excitement. Oh no, what if I run some errands for you? Uh-oh. I love how the bard's facial expressions are changing, but they're still just dancing. Uh-oh. Man, the mayor is mad. I'm contributing to this conversation in meaningful ways. I did not get it right. Oh, that's not very nice. 
Don't be mad at me. I'm dancing. Don't be mad at me. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Oh, wait, hold on. I can talk to her some more. No, no. Hi. Mm. She's a charmer. Oh, oh, look, look at me, like, look at me jumping up in the, I am so in the background. Look at this. Look at how much in the background I am. Whoa, there's more ghosts. Hey, mask friend. <laughs> That's weird. Mask friend, you're weird. I, I know a few things. Oh, man. Yes. <sighs> All right, let's go. I got a dancing spirit. That's right, I got a dancing spirit. Okay. Man, that's some serious dancing. Oh my god, look at the bard. I can, I can choose between different dances. No, he's helping you unlock the spirit of dance. No, it's it's good though, because people think of dancing as a thing that they can't do unless they learn the special dance. But actually, all people are capable of moving their bodies to music. Which counts as dancing, so when you stop thinking about it as this, like, amazing thing that can only be taught and instead unlock your inner potential to move and groove to the music. So. Yes! Okay, now that is recognizing that they're in a game. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Oh man. Yes, look at me go. Oh my god, guys. Truly, I am a hero. I'm just gonna go through the whole game like this now. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to go sing that song under the tree. Old and tested. Oh shoot, that sounds bad. Sometimes you, you hear a sound effect that isn't a sign of goodness. yet I don't know the characters well enough to know who's secretly gay with everyone else who's secretly gay so I do
Oh man. Gundy, that sounds like a great idea. What kind of cake? I kind of want to make a cake, but I'm not going to make a cake. But I want to have zucchinis so I can make zucchini brownies again. Okay, we've already talked with you before. No, that's fair. I'm happy to take the Noel Stevenson approach. I really think Shira is the gayest cartoon I've ever seen. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> light fluffy chocolate cake with French vanilla icing. Oh, interesting. So when you say like a light fluffy, are you talking like like red velvet level of like very lightly chocolate? No, I just wanted to say. Oh, okay. That was that was so worth it. That was so worth it. I wholeheartedly approve of this. I'm glad you trust the mayor. Oh no, maybe you need a therapist friend to help you manage that anxiety. Oh, that's why you don't have to hit another button when you do this. Got it. So that you can do this. This this is that's why that's why the up arrow. You know, I always forget that the horse is in the game. So yeah, no, the horse is not my favorite. It's gonna make me read you that, isn't it? Oh, no, I got it right! Oh, hello! It's you again! Oh my gosh! I love this, this creature's just like, oh my god, you're just the cutest thing. hanging out but she wants to redo the world um I guess so angry nerd bird is it a control thing like a thing that you can do on the buttons and yeah Gundy but I, I try not to take for granted like that Shira is able to be as gay as it is because Korra was struggling to be as gay, like as little bits of gay as they allowed it to be, you know? So there's like a sequence of things. Oh, interesting, you green nerd bird. Cool. Can you sing while jumping to sing an octave up? <laughs> Sophie! <laughs> I really, really am feeling some inspired by Adventure Time vibes with some of these. Hmm. Uh oh. Sounds like. A job for a bard. <laughs> you have to learn to sing from within your heart. <laughs> it's a whole thing.
big castle. Can't miss it. Okay. A quest! Hey, Kent, what's up? Have you played this game? Oh, good luck, little bard. I really like the way she talks and the fact that she has a crush on the bard. Yes. Oops! That's not what I meant to do. Okay, well, apparently that's not what I was supposed to do. Oh, there's a flower. It's a slightly ridiculous game. Oh, oh, hold on. Very nice. Oh, I hadn't heard that, um, moth dude. the bar doesn't get turned into a plant. Oh, there's a plant there. Oh, man. The flowers are making some weird sounds. Yeah, let's not let's not have season five spoilers just in case because somebody in like somebody might be watching this on YouTube and I don't want somebody to get Shira spoiled because they're watching Wander Song if that makes sense. But we do have spoiler options on Discord if you want to pop over there. I promise you, folks have been talking about Shira a lot on our Discord. It's basically like it's like a show that was made for Flutie Pies. Oh, look at this. The bard's like trying to look around and see what's up out here. The spinning doesn't work as well when you're uh, trying to see. Ah. My goodness, why is it all y or is this like poisonous gas? No. Okay, how do I get up there? Haha, -ha, look at me solving problems. I had to see if I could go any higher. You can blast it away by singing. Okay, 
Well, I had to go and explore. Oh man. I did it reasonably well. I saw stuff that I missed though. Ah, okay. Got it. Ah. man. I want to get up there. I guess I don't get to get up there. I guess I have to do the whole puzzle solving thing to get up there. Goodness! Hi birdie! That's not right. I have to make it so that I don't jump so the plant has to put me down oh my god that's so adorable so this is actually doing a super good okay so this game is very bad at communicating its menus but it's actually quite good at, at like I find the puzzle solving very intuitive you like you learn the pieces and then you figure out what you can do about them Hold on. Okay, hold on. There we go. gonna sing. Oh look I get the sparkly stars. This is totally where I dreamed of. Oh it's the castle. They did say we wouldn't be able to miss the castle and lo and behold we found the castle. How exciting. It has a bell. Alright. Are you guys ready? Okay, anyway. Let us spin into the castle. <laughs> mm. Kind of getting a near the end of Undertale vibe from here, but not the music. <gasps> oh my god. It's a cat fairy. Literally the best thing. Hello, cat fairy. Be my friend. Oh my god.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> but will you be my friend? The Dream King. Taking a nap, huh? Ah, that's awkward. 500 years. Oh, a few years. That's not as bad as 500 years, but still too long. Um, I've heard a lot of people who, uh, who've talked about this game, actually. Um, and then, uh, the bard's voice is one of my music friends. So, I heard him talking about it. Um, so yeah, I've been hearing about Wander Song a lot. A lot of people have recommended it. Usually. Oh no. That's why the overseer didn't come earlier to the the mayor's or the Wait, does that mean that Ruby was the old mayor? Because Ruby knew the mayor's song and the mayor's supposed to know the mayor's song. Well, I'm gonna sing. Brenneman if he played this game and he said yes but I don't know if he's played enough of this game to realize that it's a punny experience <laughs> oh my god that sound effect I believe in you bard it's like my thing yes it is I can sing to the bell <laughs> Oh my god, I love that this dialogue just sounds like chat bubbles from people communicating on the internet, you know? Oh, hey, look at this. Look at me climbing the castle. It's a good question. Oh no. Ow! Oh no! Oh my god, they're trying so hard to stop me. I love it. Look at look at the bard's look of determination. Like, hmm. Except occasionally being hit by Nope. I'm good. Rawr. Determination seat is the right word. Hi, Dream Fairy. Did I just break the game? I just walked into a wall trying to talk to the Dream Fairy. Do you have any advice? Okay, well I'm glad of the dream fairy. I want I want a I want a dream fairy friend. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, but I'm doing it. Okay. That was what I was supposed to do. Just keep singing to make the bell move. Oh, shoot. This doesn't seem so good. Oh, they're speaking wingdings. <laughs> so there's kind of like almost a little bit of Paper Mario in this game. Oh no! The wingdings are not having a good time. Did you just take away my voice? 
Oh no, you gave me the power of wingdings. Yes. I didn't speak wingdings earlier, but now I do. <laughs> I like the part, it's just like, yes. Are we friends? Are we friends? Please don't be an ironic fantastic. Please be an adorably excited fantastic. Also, hello, stolen light. Oh, I love the little snarling sound effect. <laughs> I did solve a bunch of puzzles, it's true. I did fight with a cat butterfly. One of the cutest things ever. It's like a big snarling critter. <gasps> You're a kitty too! <gasps> I asked nicely and he was nice about it with his wing things. Oh my gosh, what a cutie! Bye, Ken. Take care. Good luck. Being awake is not my thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that's something that a lot of people can relate to. <laughs> this music is very dramatic. Oh no, all of my hopes and dreams just got crushed. <laughs> Look at that expression. Oh, I have to make everybody friends. Sign me up. That is my thing. Hey now. Okay, this cat is definitely related to me from Night in the Woods. Mm. Oh, that looks like a black hole. Those also look like black holes. No! <laughs> Oh no. I'm glad Gundy Butt and I are on the same page about like the meh about saving the world. I'm like, oh yeah. No. <laughs> oh king. Alright, so we're gonna make friends with everybody. The nerve. Oh. No. Well, yes, but I believe in you. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my gosh. Screw this guy. Let's find the others. Yes! <laughs> she said shrug. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, the treaty you're left. Peace. Oh, it's the treaty you're left is the exit. Hold on. That's amazing, okay. I have to express my feelings through dance. This is the best dance. I guess I should tree back home. Well, we woke up May's grumpy grandpa who didn't feel like saving the world. Um, and there was a cat fairy that smacked us in the face a bunch, but it's all good. Um, but now we're going to go get the pieces of the earth song. 
and put all of the people in the world into harmony. He didn't tell me I was going to have to do that, but I'm obviously going to have to do that, which is fine. Because if there's anyone in the world who is ready to make everyone friends with everyone and bring harmony. Oh, that's cute, Moth Dude. I missed that. Oh, well. Um, anyway, the combined effort of my nosiness and the bard's no nosiness, we're going to wind up with some friends, folks. And we're going to jump on their beds. This is the mayor's house, right? Yes. Oh, I guess I should go find Cranky Pants. There's a couple of characters that could be Cranky Pants. Oh, yeah. See, they've only got one bed. Yeah. Marley and Francine. I don't know who they are exactly, but... Oh, look, everybody! Oh, no, there's more ghosts. Thanks, Clyde. Hello! I can understand you now! I learned wingdings. <laughs> Okay. Hot dog. That's such a great... I've heard that before. It's a great great little bit of expression. Oh my god, what in the Sam Hill? <sighs> I've had a few friends who, who say that one. You don't hear it that often, though. Oh my god, it, it's rhyming. Okay. We're getting exposition through ghost song translating. Ron, John, and is this other one going to be? Uh, I can't think of any other names that rhyme with that. Because, like, Tom doesn't. It's a near rhyme, but it's not a rhyme. Ron, John, and Sean, Sean, Vaughn. Oh, look at this. Gundy Butt's got me covered. Okay, wait, hold on. Mary's one of... Oh! Oh, those are our... Okay, that's actually really cute. That's actually really, 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 really cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> that's cute. I mean, it's sad also because the world is going to end, so the ghosts came to hang out with us before we all disappear. Which is not quite so cute, but it is also cute. I. Uh, mm, ma, mm, but. 
I, is, is that how mayorhood works? I guess in Langtree that can be how mayorhood works. To be fair though, they did save the day and the mayor didn't. I'm not even from around here originally. Oh man. Aww. <laughs> Clyde is the doctor. Uh, fair. <laughs> Speaking of games that are funny and have distinctive and weird ways of talking, should I play a Katamari on stream someday? Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> hey, it's- oh, you're a witch. Okay, well, you've got- I mean, I assume you're a witch. You've got a broomstick. Cute Gundy butt. This is very much a witch's theme too, the music. No. Oh, okay, that's very polite. <gasps> yes. <laughs> That's cute. Aww. Ah. Uh. That's cute. Oh man. Sorry, Miriam, we're not ready to go yet. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It just occurred to me. Okay, well. I thought maybe he would sing with me. <laughs> but he didn't. Sorry, Miriam. I gotta go. <laughs> I love the thought of, like, yeah, <laughs> just like the bar just. Bursts and opens the door, sings some random notes, stops, looks around, and then just leaves. Oh, hello! Yay! Yes, they do appear to be wives. I'm gonna jump on your bed now. See, nobody else seems to mind. It's just the old lady. <laughs> okay, anyway, I want to get an achievement for bouncing on every bed in the game. <laughs> Oh no, Clyde, do you have a crush on the mayor? You do! Oh no, he does! Okay, guys. I don't know about you, but I feel like we have a mission here. Oh, Is this their mom? What is it, Woody? Oh, oh, he's so happy. Oh, 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 that's cute. Oh. 
Oh, that's really, really, really adorable. Oh, that's really cute. He's like, when, whenever my son is the best, my wife will appreciate it because she'll be here with us. Which is really cute. You know, like that's just really cute. Do we buy a candle? <laughs> huh. Okay, I really like the mayor. I have friends who would, she would be their favorite character, no question. Yeah, but he's proud of you. Guys, we have a mission. We have a mission. Everybody is everybody wants this to happen. Clyde talk to the mayor. Mayor, there's somebody who's interested in you. Who would probably be understanding of your lack of work life balance. Because he's a doctor. So he probably also has a lack of work life balance, you know? Game glitched for a second there. Whee! Oh, I did this already. What was this again? Oh, right. Oh! It does live in me. Oops! Well, that's not what I expected to have happen, but it would appear to be what happened. So I guess we're going now. Fortunately, I think we've talked to everybody. <laughs> I did. <sighs> run, 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 I'm a bard. Very dramatic. Oh, good. The wing ding on this is the water one. Whoosh. What if I didn't, though? What if instead... What has the worst bird song for uh, Gundy Butt? You know what has my favorite annoying voice for birds? You do know because I've told you guys before, but... Oh, what's in here? Oh no, game! Oh no, game! You're not gonna let me do it wrong. Thank you, game. That's probably fair. That's it. Run over the leaves with your feet. I like grackles because they are so annoying. I relate. Annoying, loud, in your face. Grackles are fantastic. Just such witchy music. So clearly, old ladies have to have big heads and squiggled eyes. That is exactly what I want out of a story about a grackle chrono. <laughs> Thank you. Like, I feel like my day has been improved because you were telling me about a grackle that once stole a one serving cup of coffee cream from a restaurant and then opened it with his beak. Like, that is the grackle experience and also them yelling like they're so great how does anyone not like grackles i mean yes they have like they sound kind of like screaming gravel but still <laughs> that's all only adds to it they are really smart because they're corvids right corvids like crows and Blackbirds and ravens. 
corvids are fantastic. I love them. Because I like smart Alex. So I like corvids and mustelids. So if you know anything about like animal uh, families, basically that's the smart smart mouthed birds and weasels slash ferrets slash otters. <laughs> My favorites. Okay, mockingbirds. <sighs> oh, I didn't know. Blue jays are grackles? Are they the only like colorful grackles? Like, are they the like grackles that are like they grew up in a goth family and then they grew up to be like pastel? <laughs> Oh man, that's amazing. Yes, please share your grackle stories with me. <laughs> Mockingbirds trying to <laughs> Yes! I didn't I didn't know blue chase were corvids. Man, my mind is blown. <sighs> that's, I didn't know blue jays sounded like grackles. Okay, because I don't think they have grackles up here, but I assume they have blue jays. <laughs> Um, grackles aren't corvids? Wait, are you telling me blue jays are corvids and grackles aren't? Okay, there's definitely some sort of bird changeling action happening in like bird family. Like, there's no way. Grackles and blue jays were swapped at birth by the fae. That's the only explanation. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen a cat bird. I read Ursula K. Le Guin's books, Cat Wings. <laughs> Thank you, Chrono. I'm glad to know that that quote will exist out of context forever. Thanks to Flutiebot. Oh man. I just. Grackles are just these like nosy, stubborn, ugly little butts with horrible voices and obnoxious cleverness. I just love them. I didn't. We didn't have them in Dallas. And then I moved to Austin and we had grackles. And I was like, these are my favorites. And everyone else was like, what is wrong with you, Lauren? <sighs> anyway, my mind is currently being blown by all of this discovery of what birds are and aren't related to each other. <sighs> Quiscalus, what does that mean? I like grew up with mockingbirds because mockingbirds are, they're, I mean, they're the state bird of Texas. If you didn't know, Mockingbirds are the state bird of Texas. And a mockingbird will do like basically a few measures of, of, of another bird's song. And then it might switch over to a different bird's song for a few measures. But its mimicking ability is not limited to birds. So yes, you will occasionally find a mockingbird, or I guess apparently not just occasionally if you live near Chrono, you will hear mockingbirds that sound like car alarms. Different kinds of car alarms. It's amazing. <sighs> yeah, so that would be funny when mock mockingbirds learn to car alarm from each other, and thus the car alarm gets continued long past the, uh, the, the length of time of the human species. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, well, you can tell when something is just a mockingbird when it changes. Then you're like, oh, that sounds like that's the same bird, but not the same bird. It's probably a mockingbird. Uh, they're kind of annoying and, and kind of charming, but nowhere near as charming as a grackle. I just really love grackles. Um, but the moustelids are all moustelids. The, uh, the, the otters slash ferrets slash fill in the blank here. And I love them so much. Could you have, like, 
Wait, wait, the mockingbird is the state bird of Florida? Okay, any other pair of states in the US, I would say this is gonna be a fight that like would be like, like I would say Texas would take just about any other state in the US to get the mockingbird to be like, no, it's, it's our state bird, you can't have it. But Florida? I don't know that Texas could take Florida. Man! Oh. Oh my god. Gundy, but that sounds like something I would do. That sounds like purple face. Who's purple except for his face? Texas also has hurricanes, though. What does... I mean, Texas... Texas doesn't really have... Um... Alligators, though. Yeah, so... No, Texas has armadillos, too! Texas is, like, where people think of when they think of armadillos. What you... What, what Florida has is gators. Crocagators. We don't have crocagators in Texas. Texas... Yeah, I keep coming... I keep running across that still. Like, people are like, oh, it's, it's, it's more humid up here than you're used to because you're from Texas. And I'm like, dude... We have, like, one of the broadest stretches, like, one of the longest stretch of coastline of any state in the U.S. <laughs> like, the entire Gulf of Mexico, like, like, we have, like, a significant chunk of it. And Galveston keeps getting pummeled by hurricanes. Um, does Texas have gators? Can anyone confirm if Texas has gators? Oh, man. Okay, and a prefix. I feel like... I feel like none of them could take Florida and Texas, especially because there's a possibility that Florida and Texas might team up against any other state that says the Mockingbird is theirs. Uh. <laughs> Cause I just you don't Cause gators aren't aren't just like a beach thing, they're more of like a swampy type thing. Oh no. Okay, well apparently. What does Texas have that Florida doesn't have? <sighs> Sorry, I know we're here to play a game, but this is very important stuff to discuss. Okay, H-E-B is amazing. I miss H-E-B, and my mom occasionally asks me what I need in a care package. I'm like, she lives in Dallas, so there aren't any H-E-Bs near here, but her. But, yeah, no. <sighs> yeah. You can get anything in the shape of Texas. I was actually really disappointed though when I went home to Texas the past couple of times. I couldn't find enough things on short notice that were Texas shaped to bring back up here, but I do have some Texas shaped cookie cutters. Maybe I'll make Texas shaped cookies if I'm feeling homesick. You can get um, you can get tortilla chips and pasta shaped like Texas. Um, when I was homesick in Pennsylvania, one of my bandmates sent me um, a Texas-shaped basket filled with Texas pecans. Flexus. Oh my god, it's just like Flexus. Oh my god, Kendi, but that's a that's amazing and terrible. Texas doesn't need to be unhinged the way Florida is. It's already unhinged the way Texas is. I can make fun of Texas like this because I'm from Texas. Anyway. Yeah, steaks in the shape of Texas. That doesn't surprise me one bit. That sounds very Texan. Oh my goodness. No, Flexus, I think, would be the name. Not Texas. I think it would be Flexus because it's so absurd. Oh, and all of this because I like grackles. Thank you all for, for going on this tangent with me. In different ways, perhaps, Blues. Florida man is kind of what Texas or what Florida has as far as its ability to take any other state. But isn't the national bird the bald eagle? Yeah, but the thing is, because of how mess messed up the general most commonly used map is. It makes everything, like, that is roughly where Europe would be, uh, is that longitudinally, um, seem bigger than it is. So if you just look at a map, 
you don't realize that Alaska is actually enormous. Man. Okay, so Ben Franklin was also a bit of a smart mouth, too. <laughs> Yes. So, Blues, that's why people think that, um... Oh, that's funny, Blink Spout. I didn't realize that. Um... That's right, Chrono. <laughs> that, yep. Okay, so... When I tell you I, like smart mouth like obnoxiously confident sticking their nose into other people's business really charming clever characters slash animals slash whatever is it any surprise that ben franklin is a historical figure that i appreciate uh, i think he's very very funny has very interesting stories um But yeah, so Alaska looks like it's not a billion times bigger than Texas. And so it's not really Texas's fault in that particular instance. But also Texas thinks it's better than everyone else. Well, bigger than everyone else. Um, yeah. Control C, have you found any, any other particularly noteworthy? You just like have like a like, everybody find interesting Texas shaped things. <laughs> share it on discord or something i don't know uh yeah we'll see Candy, but that's what's interesting is like canada is way bigger so big but it has a much smaller population because it's so much of it is so cold and alaska has the same situation where it's really big but really cold oh i should try make i was gonna make chicken fried steak for my friends up here at some point anyway i should make chicken fried steak because I'm from Texas so it's chicken fried steak not country fried steak in Texas it's chicken fried steak um, <laughs> but I uh, I should I should make it shaped like Texas's because I'm gonna have to get my own like meat hammer because I'm not gonna be able to find the pre tenderized meat here it's chicken fried steak Meaning, okay, okay, buckle up, my friend, because the tangent is continuing. <laughs> this is why I can never finish games as fast as everyone else in the world. This and falling off of every cliff and talking to every person. Okay, so... <laughs> exactly, Control C. In Texas, it's chicken fried steak. In other places in the South, it's country fried steak, but they're wrong. <laughs> Um, so, you know about frying chicken, right? You know that we can fry chicken. You, like, batter chicken, and then you fry it. Oh. Thank you, Blinksbat! <laughs> well, I guess we've talked about that before. You did come prepared. I'm so impressed. Okay, well, we're gonna have the chicken fried chicken conversation again because some of you might not know it already anyway so they f they decided they were going to fry steak the way they fried chicken but you can't use the exact same technique to fry steak that you use on chicken or like the batter just because it's different so they had to make some adaptations they had to like tenderize the meat they had to adapt and change the way that they like did the batter the way they applied the batter so then they thought to themselves what if Oh, it's, it's delicious. It's delicious. It'll kill you. It's so good. We're going to smother it with cream gravy. So good. Um, look, Chrono. Florida can only have so much of our things before we're going to come over there and fight you. <laughs> no, but so then they were like, what if we took this, this, this adapted version of frying that we use to make chicken fried chicken or chicken fried steak, and then we applied it to chicken. So you could have fried chicken chicken fried steak or chicken fried chicken. Chicken fried chicken is not the same as fried chicken. They are different. 
Oh, it's very rich, Gundy Butt. It is so rich. Yes. It will it will kill you, but it's so good. You can make mashed potatoes on the side, maybe have like some like homemade rolls. Some of those like disgustingly drowned in butter green beans that are not even green anymore. Like like you you know that kind of meal? That's what this is. Chicken fried steak and chicken fried chicken are both sometimes foods. <laughs> to uh to quote a, a, a beloved blue monster. <laughs> anyway, yes. If I can do a cooking stream, perhaps I will do chicken fried steak <laughs> and mashed potatoes <laughs> and rolls and maybe creamed corn and a cobbler. <laughs> huh. Oh yeah, oh, it's comfort food. It is comfort food. Um, the thing you have to realize is that a lot of this was, like, frontier and farm and, um, ranch food. So, like, people who are doing, like, hard labor. And so they need lots and lots of calories. And that's kind of where cream gravy came from. <sighs> Cracker Barrel is, like, kind of an evil company, but I, 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 I do like their food a lot. Like, I like that, that genre of food a lot that is correct Krona. that is a joke i have made <laughs> anyway um mashed potatoes and cream gravy like i don't like brown gravy i love cream gravy i made cream gravy once um uh, for thanksgiving and my new jersey family was just like what are you doing lauren uh yeah but yeah no like meatloaf, uh, chicken fried steak, buttermilk biscuits, like you are talking my language. It's good stuff. And then like up here, like a lot of people haven't had some of the more like Southern American cuisine and I'm like, let me introduce you to this. Like people who hadn't ever had biscuits and gravy. So I've, I've introduced several Canadians to biscuits and gravy, which is White gravy, cream gravy, not brown gravy. That would be weird. Yeah, no, a homemade biscuit. Oh man, I make really good biscuits too. Um, in fact, there's a biscuit recipe that I used on the All Recipes site like a bazillion years ago um, that made really good buttermilk biscuits. Anyway, this is important stuff. <clears throat> but we were at some point playing a video game I apologize to anyone who's watching this on YouTube and it's just like, what is she doing? Huh. Oh, cheese biscuits are good, too. But I like buttermilk biscuits, like plain buttermilk biscuits, because they're so versatile. You can use them to make strawberry shortcake. You can make a sandwich with them. You can douse them in gravy. Like, you can have them with chicken fried steak. It's just good. This is a much nicer old lady. <laughs> Look, that's what grandmas do. Yeah, we are, we this tangent. Old mm. school. <laughs> Aww. Nope. Oh my gosh, the bard is eternally hopeful. Yes, see, see, see? Oh my god, she gets her socks from Sock Dreams. My favorite socks. You should be friends. Grandma, are you trying to set us up? Somewhat, Gunny Butt. I knew that, but not well enough to have been able to summon that from my memory. Like you say that, I'm like, oh, I have heard that before. Sock Dreams is my favorite place for socks. And the nice thing about living in a place that's cold is that sometimes I actually get to wear my sock collection. It's very exciting. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm glad that the game knew I was going to do that. I hope that there's a custom response for that. Oh no, fancy. That's a scary thought. Sock nightmares. I mean, I could name mine something else, but I'm just going to call them Bard. I'm very creative. Okay. Otherwise... I'm gonna like name them like hat <laughs> or like F T H R feather because they've got a feather in their hat. Kiwi. Oh, that's a cute name. Oh man, Granny likes me. Miriam shops at Hot Topic too. Is that still a joke we can make? Is that still relevant? Safi, her name is Saf Sapphire, I bet. Fuddy Duddy, oh man. Not many people use the term Fuddy Duddy. I do, <laughs> which makes me approximately 75, at least. Oh, she's a grumpicus. I can't jump on the bed. That's funny, Gunny but I like that there's like a witch hat just like hanging on a hook here and a spare broom. Oh my god, I have a party member. Overseer access point, the Queen of Winds. M -m 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 monster The bard is still scared of the monsters in the cave. All right, let's go in. We're a little bit nervous. Oh, I was trying to jump on her broom. It won't let me do that. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Who needs gravity? I will walk at an angle. At an angle walking I go. Whee! Boop. Hmm. -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Boop. Boop. Fortunately, this doesn't actually look anything like a cave. So it's not bothering me. Miriam, how in high school are you?
This is pretty creepy bridge, though. Oh, it is a bridge bridge. See, it's got those little arches at the bottom of it. I wonder what this, like, creepy red stalactite stuff is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, friend. <gasps> You're a Yeti! Oh my gosh! Do you know what I named the Yeti in Final Fantasy VI this week? Because we, we got Umaro in our party. <laughs> I named him Woo! <laughs> Because I don't like him in the game because I want a melodramatic and serious story and then he's just kind of there. But every time I see his name, I smile now. So it's good. I have Bognet and Woo! <laughs> the monster is mad. And there's an organ happening. With awesome magic powers. That's unacceptable. No. Oh, look at how happy I am. I'm almost there. Oh, the creature! Look at look at the creature's face. Look, look at the beast's face. The monster's face. The monster's just like, what? What's happening? What's going on here? Thanks, but oh no! No, I want to fix your boyfriend. No. It's not. Oh. What a cutie. Did we not? <laughs> well, you weren't volunteering your helpfulness, Miriam. So Bard was going to take matters into their own hands. Yes? Oh, look at how happy Bard is. Bard's like, yes, like bouncing up and down on their toes. Achievement unlocked, defeated the troll. I approve of this. I am pleased with this. Miriam is not pleased. Oh no, friend. Okay, we gotta do this, Miriam. We gotta help. Oops. Miriam. Miriam, help. I don't, don't know if I can do this. Ah, okay. This is not good. Oh, that is a great idea, Bard. Oh. We got to fix it. We gotta fix it, friend. 
No, we gotta fix it. I want to fix it. Ah. That didn't work. We gotta come back and fix his boyfriend. That is very cool that you can do the extra hour, um, extra octave, extra hour. Lauren, octaves and hours don't have anything in common. Wait, was there something in there? It does look important. But I don't know that I can do anything here. It makes the crystal start pulsing, but I don't think I know the thing I need to do. So we're just gonna like... Dance. Is there gonna be an oracle there? Wait. No loitering after dark. Oh, cemetery. That sounds good. We've had some, we've we've had pretty good encounters with the dead so far. Oh, I don't get to do anything with the cemetery yet. Yeah, the whistling happens when you go over um leaves. I went with the name Bard because I'm creative. Oh my gosh. That person looks... Oh my god, there's a pirate. There's a pirate. Is it a whistling leaves thing? Is that a thing? Hello. Oh my gosh, hello. Sue? Come on, Sue. Okay, Sue, I know people who would be really excited to know a person <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh look, we've got some disaffected youths, my favorite. Hello, disaffected youths. Oh no, this doesn't sound like a good idea. Mitzi! <laughs> yes, oh, dude. I feel that it is an in-character action. My mom told me a story about a little girl named Mitzi when I was little. I wrote my mom a story when I was an adult that was me trying to recapture the little bits I could remember of the story that she had told me. So. That's how these things go, I think.
Oh man. Disaffected teens. Cray Ray. Okay, well I guess we'll be going there. I love the like emphatic dialogue there. Oh, your nose is drooping. Lenny. Lenny's voice acting is perfect. Oh, look, there's a pirate lady. Sure, I don't have any money. <laughs> Penny. Oh man. Hello. No, that's not a useful skill. You know? <sighs> You've all known those people, right? Some of us maybe even been that person. I haven't really, but I've had friends who were. Are you, Ryan? I keep forgetting I can sing for people. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. a charmer. Oh my god, I have to sing for everyone. Looks like they don't all respond. Okay. Yar. Oh my god. It's a tiny pirate. The tiniest pirate. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just have to go bug everyone. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> this is where the violin and music is coming from. Viola. Oh, is she playing a viola, not a violin? Am I showing my ignorance? My viola playing friend will be very disappointed in me if I can't tell the difference between a viola and a violin.
Okay, fine. I guess that's that. I do like that there's like music. Nate! Yes! Backstory! My favorite! Tell me all the backstory! Yes! Okay. That's a good start. Okay. I do. Give me all the backstory, Nate. That's good! No, this is good. Okay. Good. Good. I'm feeling it also. My kitty is, is laying over on top of a thing like this with her little kitty belly up. She's such a cute kitty. That's right, Sophie. I'm talking about you. Hello, you look sassy and like you're maybe up to no good. Oh my god. <sighs> oh no. So you wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> Will you dance with me? No? No? Nothing? Okay. So cute. Hello. Good night, Chrono. Sleep well. Hmm. It's true, there is a lot of people not caring. Yeah, that's possible. Oh, hello, mask friend. Oh, hey, it's my friend. That to find you some candy? Maybe I do. Okay, well, I guess I don't get to interrupt that person who's playing their hurdy gurdy. Hi, Nate. Oops. Okay, this makes me think. I'm sorry to compare games to games, but this place makes me think of Possum Springs. The graphics get weird in here? Yes. Yep. Oh, yes. You like the art style, but also just like the, the feel and like the like town is like losing its energy and there's leaves everywhere and just, yeah. with it. Okay. We'll see. Hello, mask friend. <laughs> the sick tune. Yes. Dance. 
dance. Oh my god. Oh my god. This dance. I will. Hi, Jeb. Oh my god, Miriam. If you've never seen a town before. Miriam. Miriam. May Miriam, maybe you should. I make no promises. Uh oh. It's a creepy dude. I'm a little concerned about this creepy dude. Oh, I can't jump on the sign. Hello. A <laughs> teen. Oh no. <sighs> oh no. Man, everything is sucking for people around here. How sad. We need to make it better for them. It's interesting the way, like, they have things blur out. Should I talk to this creepy looking dude? I don't like the looks of him. I mean, it's a pretty great dance, but it's not as good a dance. No, I haven't talked to the pirate yet. There we go. That's the spirit. I don't remember where the pirate is. Where is the pirate? Where is the pirate? There's that pirate. Where's the other pirate? Bottom right? Okay. Alright. We're going to go through here and encounter a pirate. Yes! Hello, pirate. Ahoy, pirate. <laughs> I, I was about to say, are you a pirate? But it's okay, Bard's on it. The graphics seem to have gotten weird. Yar. My sister likes pirates a lot. You're just such a pirate. Lady... <laughs> That's fair. No? Okay. Okay, I'm glad so it's not just me. I'm not imagining it. Alright. Okay. You don't seem fully trustworthy. Okay. Options. Oops. What just happened? No. That's the wrong. Okay, hold on. <sighs> Is it auto adjust that we want to turn off? Find me a couple of the musicians. You know, I'm pretty sure that, that songs are going to help with finding music. Just a thought. Okay, so the graphics do seem to have gotten better. 
Yeah, I had a really hard time with those earlier, but... Hello. Friend, hello. <gasps> no, you look sad. Don't be sad. No, don't be sad. You have a bow tie on, Ash. Do you know how cool that makes you? <gasps> no! Oh. Oh. Did she die? Yeah. No. No? Okay. Oh, hey! It's my rainbow girlfriend. Rainbow girlfriends, help me make this person less sad by showing them how cool their bow tie is and their music. See, this is my rainbow girlfriend. Oh my god. Is that going to make sense to kids these days? I feel like that's like a very, like, I, I, was, I was a child or teenager in the late 90s. friend oh excellent stolen light yeah like I'd love to be able to be like oh I can figure this out on my own but <laughs> Sure, let's hear some backstory. So dramatic, let's hear it, you know? Oh man, this is some useful bits of backstory. Thank you, Nate, you're my friend. All right, we gotta... Okay, I guess I don't get to help her yet. Part of her hair looks fuzzy. Oh no, it's just the same shadow as everything else. Okay. Um, hello, Manny. Manny's name and text is all like super bolded. He, like, makes me think of somebody from Earthbound, but not, like, in a good way. Like, there's, like, bad people in Earthbound, too, you know?
Like, he seems like a, a sketchy dude from Earthbound. Hi, Ginger! Hmm. I'm glad, Octobred, I'm not the only one who that. Hey, hold on. I'm going to sing for you. There we go. It took me a bit to realize that there was a particular color. Ah, there's some accordion playing happening. Uh-oh. Did I do it wrong? There we go, that makes sense. And then we get to have our uh, creepy ghost sound. Oh, did it do it wrong? Oh, I did it wrong! Oh no! The uh, theremin started up. I got distracted. We did a jam session. Oh, that's fun. Aww. Yeah. Manny, stop being creepy. <laughs> That's cute, Harry Nerdbird. I was, I was folk. They gonna be duets. <laughs> My uh, ghost mom is here. <laughs> I love the little shocked gasp from the bard. Oh man, look at this. We're going to have a jam session. It took a minute for me to uh, make sense of, I didn't see, I didn't see the directions. I can't always tell when, I'll sometimes get, start thinking that it's like a cutscene. But it's actually not a cutscene. Like the way that it changes to have different stages. Which makes sense, I guess they're kind of like checkpoints.
Look at all those butterflies. <laughs> well that was really really cute and sweet and a little bit sad and I'm wondering if I'm going to be going around helping dead people and their living relatives with their problems from now on Okay. That's all you gotta do, friend. I thought I'd gone to the top. Everyone here is depressed. They just need... I thought this was the... Oh, that wasn't the top? Oh, wait, no, that's right. I went through here. And then there's Snobby McSnob, and I'm too cool for you. Oh, and there's another building! Oh, here's where the crazy raven is. No. No. <sighs> kind of slimy voice. I'm glad to they acknowledge that he's slimy seeming. to go. Nope.
No, no. Don't set your instrument on fire. Generally not recommended. I'm glad my instrument isn't flammable, really. Did I do it right? I don't even know what, uh... Yeah, I just realized that I can talk to her. Wait, is this Homestuck? Okay. <laughs> I've never even read Homestuck, but I know. That's amazing. Okay, so I guess this is what Homestuck's about. I've never been entirely sure. Yeah. So I got my chair stuck on the cat tree. I got excited about that. That's amazing. Okay. Well, that's fun. I'm glad to know that, uh, also the, uh, the Eagle Cafe's owner looks like, oh, what? They're gone. The Eagle Cafe's owner looks like a to Toby Fox design. Because there's just so much of it, blue glass, and, like... I don't know. That's just, it's such a big undertaking and I'm not sure if it would be worth the amount of time in my life. <sighs> oh my God, still in light. That would be pretty funny. Stop. Oh, you say stop. Oh, I wanted to talk to everybody else, but that's okay. This place looks kind of creepy. I don't know if this is a good idea. What does he play? I love his voice acting. Hey. Oh, it's okay, kiddo. Yeah. She really looks like somebody from a Paper Mario. <laughs> oh no. Ash, it's okay. You no, it's okay. No, you got this. Yep, that's the spirit. It's okay. What? That is... I need to listen to the bard on this one. That's right.
poor kid. That's not, that's not super skeezy at least. Alright, let's do this. You guys ready? Let's do it, folks. Oh, okay, he's the drummer. I would have guessed the drummer just because we need someone to be the rhythm section. I assume it'll tell me when I'm supposed to come in. I'm missing something. This does make me miss performing on a stage. Because this is very definitely, they ask a bunch of people, can you make crowd noise for this? Yeah. Oh man. Makes sense to be the Queen of Winds with accordion. She's a reed instrument, if I remember correctly.
<laughs> yep, that's okay though. It doesn't matter how nervous you are. Oh my gosh, it's the me, 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 me. Oh my gosh. They sleep and la la la, or me, me, me. They're sleeping in the backstage. They must have fallen asleep while everyone else was out partying. That's adorable. The bard is an adorable little person. Hello. Yeah, it could be. Do it, do it. I don't even know what you play, but do it. Excellent. <laughs> sure. But you already said that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm inspiringly uncool. That's adorable. Oh, this one does have some gameplay mechanic stuff that is similar to Loom and that you use the notes that you play to make things happen. Thanks, Frederick. That's very indeed detail. <laughs> sure. Sure. from uh, the like mid to late 90s so more than a decade <laughs> but this is no this I would say that this and loom aren't trying to do the same thing at all because with loom the gameplay mechanics with the uh, with the it's basically there are existing spells and you want to learn to put the right notes or, 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 or uh, letters in the right order to make certain things happen and you have a, a, a set arsenal of spells that you can do to try to solve problems um, I mean not just it, like not not even the like the like feeling of it but gameplay wise like me mechanically oh shoot it's 10 o'clock already um, but mechanically this is a lot more this is this is basically Simon says but it's mad but it's music. Um, whereas, like, Loom is, like, you have a toolbox of, thi of, of things that you can try to do to trigger things to change. Um, and then also Loom is very, very dark and serious and then opera, fairy tale weirdness, which I love. And this is very, this is a very dorky game. <laughs>
<laughs> Obviously, yes is the only option, the only answer. Okay. Grand. Oh, that's a spirit, Lenny. So I feel like, judging by the visual style and the story and stuff, like we can tell kind of what some of the influences for this game are. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, um, but like just visually, some several of the characters very much make me think of Adventure Time characters. Um, Art-wise, I don't even I haven't even seen a lot of Adventure Time, but I'm familiar with the character design, and there's a lot of overlap here. Um, some of the design and animation and stuff does actually make me think of Homestuck, and that might have crossed my mind even if there hadn't been a character canonically talking about reading Homestuck in this. Um, I think there's some like Earthbound and Undertale influences in there too, um, and I definitely get uh, get a Night in the Woods feeling from it too. Yes, only you have the power to change that. That's good. That's the spirit, Lenny. Haha. <laughs> That's the spirit. Right, but Homestuck and Undertale have their own... Their own... F I thought... I thought... I didn't think Homestuck was Earthbound influenced. I knew Undertale was kind of like Homestuck and Earthbound had a baby. Um, but also, like, um, even if Undertale is, in, is inspired by or, or influenced by Earthbound, it still very much has its own feel, which I feel like this would have. Oh, there you go. Yes. It's a great idea. That's a spirit. Don't need anyone else's approval. Just do it. Yeah. That's very cute. Hello, Nate. Oh. That's very cute, Nate. That's a big compliment. Good job, friend. Also, Flutie Bot wants to make sure you're practicing basic self-care. Yes. Sue, come on. Where is, where is the kid that she's talking about? Hmm. Yes. I guess I set someone up. No, you jerk. No. Oh my gosh. All right, we got to do this. This is really important stuff, guys. No, go away. Ms. Grumpagus. I am busy saving the town's happiness. It's important stuff. 
Yeah, this might be terrible, but... Now where? There they are. Okay. Hello. Oh no. Oh yeah, Mitzi and Danny are definitely dating. No. Oh my gosh. No, this is good. Actually, people do dumb things like this guy is doing because they don't know how to handle having feelings about things. It's easier to like snobbily put stuff down and critique it than it is to actually find things to love in the world. Oh, basically this. Yay! I'm so proud of them. All right, good job, team. Let's go into the sweet store. Hello, mask friend. I didn't mean to. But I also forget. Hello, Jeb. Get your sweet on. All right, so everyone is happy. Ash, are you okay? Good. Good. Yeah, I think that's probably a safe assumption. I mean, you've known this kid, haven't you? is non-binary so Ash can be a cute nervous person with nice pink hair that you're way too into you can combine combine your understanding of them there you go everybody's happy now it is shortly time for me to shut down because I do have work to do tonight, actually, to get back to, but... I wondered about that. Because I was like, only gave him four notes to work with. <laughs> okay, so we should probably shut. Oh, oh let me finish. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. This game has such a wacky sense of humor. I appreciate it. Let's last save just now. Yes. 
Ha. Okay, well, I enjoyed it. It's cute. I'm sorry I got so frustrated at the, uh, at the controls at the beginning. But that was really cute. What a cute and fun game. Uh, it's very, very charming. Um, got a little bit of seriousness mixed in there. Um, I think that you can really see its influences. Um, but I think that um, there's nothing wrong with that. And it's fun, and I will continue figuring out the gameplay as we go. Um, yeah, that was really fun. Thank you, guys. Um, despite my, like, 20-minute long tangent about birds and food. But really, who doesn't want to talk about birds and food, especially food? Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I know I promised Wander Song for, like, a million years, and then I didn't do it. But we're doing it now. I'm making decent progress, all things considered. And then we'll figure out what to do next afterwards. So, yeah, this has been fun. Thank you again to our friend who uh, who sent me a copy of the game. I appreciate it. Um, as always, um, feel free to join our Discord, hang out with us um, there, and chat about fun things. Or follow me on social media if you want to know like when I'm going live and stuff and get cat photos. There's a little bit of angst involved just because the state of the world means occasionally you have to scream into the void. Um, but yeah, we are doing still Final Fantasy VI on Tuesdays. We will be doing this on Thursdays for the foreseeable future. And when I'm not crunching work, I might pick up the creative sprints again on Monday because my Final Fantasy VI fanfic is going on <laughs> and I posted up part of it this week. Um, so there's that. And I will be, uh, I will be continuing to hopefully post it every Monday night or Tuesday morning. But we'll see because I'm in crunch mode with work. That might not happen this week. Um, I don't know, Sal. Maybe like three. I talk a lot. I'm really slow. So, I don't know. Um, but thank you all so, so much for joining. It's always delightful to see your lovely faces. And by faces, I mean your names. But I have the names on the screen are like faces in my heart. <laughs> Anyway, good night, folks, and we will we will play more of this next week. Bye.